Anita Linsky had her hand on it, but unable to hold on to it. Karen Keelt fouled. There it is again. Tara Kenny. You just got a glimpse of Tara Kenny with a, a glove on her left hand. She came into this game with a hand injury which threatened her starting position, but she's okay. And now a free for Karen Keelt of Derry. Wind assisted, remember. And Keelt knew from the moment she struck that because she sauntered back towards her half forward position. That's a good score. 1 4 to 2. And Derry going well. Derry going well. They have that strong breeze like to lead all these scores. It's going to look very dense up front, especially out of Curtin. Nicasada just nudging that forward for Gronia McGoldrick, who's uh, positioning further out the field, is causing Galway an issue, issue or two. Karen Keel prevents that from going out over the line, and plenty of options back inside. Theresa McElroy is the centre forward. Great take and turn and point from Theresa McElroy. That's one of the scores of the game. Very stylish camogie player, and that was simplicity itself. Very effective, though. Yeah, they're, they're a great ball, cross-field ball here, beautiful, had, had both sides to strike it over, because from the ball played back out, at this moment in time, like, goal need to be out a few midfield to try to clog it up, because Derry are on a roll. They are, and Galway haven't scored in some ten minutes, and uh, Derry working the scoreboard well, Eilish O'Reilly for Galway, now Deirdre Burke with the ball on her stick, and Burke just put off by Maeve McGoldrick as she hooked her, out now is Aideen Mullen, the Derry cornerback, but Galway... Well, I've just gifted possession back to Derry and the relieving clearance as Gronje McGoldrick tries to get to it. Lorraine Farrell, the eye just wasn't quite in as the ball came down to her. Scrappy phase of play, Sarah Noon across, once played senior football for Galway, now in the intermediate Kabogi team in the All-Ireland final. And trailing at the moment, issues for Tony Ward, the Galway manager, to consider. Stronger. Yeah, probably there. He probably had to be out here to work as a third midfielder because like they're just not winning the ball out there. Like there is a very strong breeze. Any ball that goes up to the forwards and go, well, they're dangerous enough. But like so are Derry down the other end and there. They're in the driving seat at the moment. Go and need a score just to hang into this game. Eva Linsky was part of the Ard Rahan team, which was beaten by Derry's Owen Rua in the All Ireland Intermediate Club final back in March. Several players from both teams here in action today. Orla Curtin almost through for one goal, looking for a second, but gets a point and a very important score for Galway. Could have been more, but she's happy enough with the point and their first in 11 and a bit minutes. Brings yeah. them that little closer. Yeah, Dara, she, she has, she's causing trouble and she's causing trouble to the full back line. Anytime she gets on the ball, she's tripped and told down. Derry's Katie McEnany. Katie McCauley, her maiden name, and most people in Derry still call her that, but she's Katie McEnany now. The uh, Derry corner forward, Theresa McElroy, scored that really fine point a few minutes ago for Derry and cutting through again. And an issue for Calman to deal with. It's gone over the bar, but you could see the sun was a real problem for Roisin Calman. There was a bit of panic there as the ball just drifted over her head. 1 6 to 3, second for McElroy. Just making the crossbar and Rosian's sort of got stuck into, into the crossbar as well, a dangerous ball. Gronje McGoldrick, the Derry captain. Little touch from Una Bradley and they could be in here. Real problems, here's Kielt and Kalman with a very fine save, it goes over the bar. But that seemed destined for the back of the net and Rosian Kalman pulling off a really fine stop to deny Karen Kielt. The Derry get a point out of it, 1-7-3. Yeah, very good save. She redeemed herself there. That that'll put icing on the cake for Derry. They'll be they'll be twelve up to three, but instead that has ten. It's a great save and a great score. Sinead Cassidy pulling on that. That's Colette Gill. Galway have two tigerish uh, cornerbacks, two very fast players, and that time Gill's play sets Galway up with Maria Breheny. Stylish camogie player, pops the ball inside. Now it's Deirdre Burke, they could do with a goal. Closed down by Aideen Mullen of Derry, now Ailish O'Reilly. 
Derry have uh, crowded that large parallelogram, but Galway still with the ball, recycling it back to Emma Kilkelly. And Kilkelly, has she managed to hang on to it? Yes, she has. Good point. Yeah, good, good play. important one. Good play there, a lot, a lot of, like uh, Maria Brandy, a lot of work, slipped a lovely little ball inside. And Michael Kelly taps it over the bar. They're just hanging into this game. They needed that, like, because Derry are on the road, but the breeze is very, very strong. Claire O'Kane restarts the game for Derry. And you can see the difference in the distances from the puck outs. Claire O'Kane has the wind, that gale helping her, even though the sun is out. It's uh, not the warmest and it's blustery. Really good hook to win the ball back for Derry. And now it's Sinead Cassidy, bit of open road in front of her. Closing her down was Aoife Linsky. And Cassidy lets that one go. And a brilliant point from That's Sinead it. Cassidy. What a wonderful score. Just wiping out that Kilkelly point for Galway. This is well worth looking at again. Dara, that's as good as you see anywhere. Went up along, I thought she was going to pass inside, goes over onto her left side. No, it does a lot, has a lot to do here. Flicks it over there, beats a tackle. As good as you see anywhere, flick of the wrist over the bar. The only thing that Derry probably aren't doing at the moment there is they're not taking on more goals. They're taking lovely scores from outside. Derry have uh, scored 1 8, 1 7 of it coming from play in this intermediate All Ireland final. If they win, they go up to senior next year. Galway, now this is their second tier team beaten in the All-Ireland Senior semi-final a few weeks ago it's Derry free now Maeve McGoldrick will take this from the Owen Rua club Karen Keel done to that the most exciting talents in the game of Camogie at the moment, Karen Keelt has played well already in this All-Ireland final, Sinead Cassidy has played well too, she's the Derry vice-captain, Gráinne McGoldrick is the skipper and there's Colette Gill out in front, she is that type of cornerback, tries to be out in front as much as she can and driving Galway forward and she's done it again, her last drive forward led to a point but this one as Derry get players in may not lead to the, the same place, a sort of a scrappy passage of play, Karen Keelt tries to bring some shape to that passage of play, Theresa McElroy beaten by Colette Gill, who really is coming into her own, the Galway cornerback, fired forward by Linsky, Galway have had to bring players back, now they can have some attackers join in, Orla Curtin unable to hang on to that, and it's Ifani Kashida who clears it for Derry, Karen Keelt, it just ran past her and her marker. Now it's Paula Kenny, the Galway captain across, but Katie McEnenley is there with Paula Kenny, and the referee has given a free to Galway for a foul on the Galway fullback, Paula Kenny. Yes, yeah, you from the Aircourt Club in Galway, all her brothers with the pit for Galway, and father as well, the Aircourt, the Aircourt blood in it. Galway are considering a change. Tony Ward is bringing Katrina Cormican in. Colette Gill, just out of picture, is receiving some treatment at the moment. She's been very involved in the play for Galway over the last little while. But here is Katrina Cormican, and it looks as if Aoife Linsky is going to have to go off. Now, we mentioned at the start that she was playing with a cracked rib and that injury has uh, obviously flared up again and uh, Aoife Linsky is gone off, so that is a blow for Galway, huge experience Aoife Linsky brought to this team. And her All-Ireland Intermediate Final is over, Katrina Cormican is replacing her. Here come Galway, just four points they've got against the wind, Derry have been the more dominant team. Galway, though, have a free just outside the Derry 45 metre line. Yeah, that's up there after coming on there. Katrina Cormican from Cathay Tigers. She plays with left hand on top, but she's a hard worker and a hard grafter. She won't actually weaken the team. Well, the free is just inside the 45 metre line, and this is Emma Kilkelly, who has got two of Galway's four points in this first half. 
dropping it short, dangerous one. Curtin pulled on that in the air first time, but Aideen Mullen out for Derry, but out in front of her is Deirdre Burke. Burke back into Kilkelly, who joined up quickly, having taken the free. Aideen Mullen again under pressure, really good play from Elaine O'Sullivan, they call her Sully, and uh, that is out for a 45. Decent work from Maeve McGoldrick to deny Elaine O'Sullivan. Yeah, the dirty backs are very, very effective. Now, the goal forwards are trying very hard as well, Darren. If they get enough of ball, they'll cause trouble. But at the moment, like, the dirty half-back line midfielders are well on top, and like, there's not much ball going into goal. When it goes in, it's dangerous, but there isn't that much we going in. So it's Emma Kilkelly again who will take this 45. Better contact this time, and that one has gone straight over, and that's nicely done from Emma Kilkelly, her third point of this All-Ireland final, bringing them that little bit closer to Derry. <laughs> Sinead Cassidy put out a play by Colette Gill, who was receiving treatment a few minutes ago, but is all right to continue. Aileen McCusker started the year at midfield but has done extremely well at right half back again the ball squirts loose Roisin Kalman under pressure as she cleared it Colette Gill well, both teams doing pretty well at well their forwards putting pressure on the opposing backs and uh, there's a free in though over carrying by Sinead Keane yeah, just from the pressure there, what you're talking about, like they're putting a lot of pressure on that and let, let, let the forward defence come out and it's good pressure actually there's not much you can do really in Probably maybe been a little bit unlucky. There was, there was no risk to go, but it was pressure from the, from the dirty forwards. Chance for Karen Kielt to put more daylight between Derry and Galway. Didn't work out well from a Derry point of view. That's a let off for Galway, and the referee spotted a chop in there, so there's a free out for Galway. Kielt really. A after what we've seen her do in this All-Ireland so far, I expected that one to sail over. She did herself too, just hit a little bit soft. This was still a dangerous ball and it could happen in there, but she meant that for a score, that should have been over the bar. Let off for Galway. Right? Paula Kenny with the free, keeping it low into the breeze and precise too to pick out Colette Gill, who lets it go forward very quickly. Batted away by Aideen Mullen, but Galway putting pressure on the new player in Katrina Cormican, who replaced Aoife Linsky. Possibilities for... Galway here, Maria Breheny. Progress halted by Maeve Quinn, the 17-year-old, playing only her second match for this Derry team, but Breheny still going. This is brilliant from Maria Breheny, deserves something out of the move, and it's gone into the back of the net. A goal for Galway out of nothing, but brilliant play from wing forward Maria Breheny. It seemed as if Maeve Quinn had put enough pressure on her and it just trickled into the corner. Goal for Galway, only three in it. Yeah, she's still at it there, like whenever the hope seemed off, but like she's good at carrying the ball. She was, tr she was trying to lay it off. So that's her dart, her fault to use play for everyone else. That's, that's a lifeline to Galway. It certainly is. Playing against the wind in the first half. Not so long ago, Derry were eyeing a 10 point lead, but Galway with their tails up at the minute, just three points behind. Just over five and a bit minutes to go to half-time here in Croke Park. Only the third intermediate final to be played here at Croke Park. On Camogie's big day in 2012. Colette Gill again is out in front. This time it's Karen Kilt who's closer to her. But Gill just threw the ball up and caught it again. Yeah, but Derry, I'd have to say, like, Colette Gill, like, from cornerback, she's, she's forcing the game, which is great, like, because go are under pressure, but she's tearing out in front, and she's taking the game to Derry. Just to give you an idea, in terms of scoring chances, Derry have uh, converted nine out of the 12 created. Galway have taken six out of the 10 they've created. Here comes Karen Kielt of Derry. Missed that free not so long ago. And brilliant or fantastic goal from Katie McEnany. That's a brilliant score there. It was actually walked straight through. They kept trying to the work. Fantastic kind of team play there. You can see it coming up here again, like little hand flicking. This is good to see anywhere. Worked it very well to catch that ball. Back inside here to McEnany and back at the back.